Hi there Scorpio, welcome back to Wild Lotus Tarot. This is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for September 21st through to the 27th. Scorpio, let's see what's literally on the cards for you. Getting started with the Work Your Light Oracle from Rebecca Campbell to see what the overarching message or theme is for you for the week for Scorpio. one's jumping I'm taking it well actually there's two here and I think they're interlinked so I will take them both we have got trust your path if you knew you would be supported what would you do and we have Scorpio answer the call what is your soul calling you to do so you know you're really being asked to to answer a call of your soul and then to trust your path to start walking it. it's very much like the fool's journey you're being led somewhere you might kind of not know where it's all heading but you're being asked to take those first tentative steps um, towards it and what is your soul calling you to do well i think a lot of us are in this time at the moment of discovering what's truly meaningful for us and and realizing that maybe before what we journeyed um, you know at the moment on the collective is that a lot of us were sort of on the treadmill of operating for other people's needs and now we're kind of really wanting to operate with more purpose so this is really like what is your purpose what are your deepest you know talents and and skills what gift do you have to offer the world and maybe it's time for you to start uh, stepping into that Scorpio well, let's see what else comes out Brahma beautiful so here Scorpio Brahma is the god of creation and it says it's time to create it says Brahma the creator of the universe and all beings has come to you with a message that now is the time to bring that idea into fruition what's that idea that you've been sitting on but haven't taken action now is the time to plant the seed and water it so your intention sprouts to life yeah I mean I think it's got something to do with that deeper call you know maybe you've had an idea sitting in the back of your mind maybe you know you started to discover what that talent is and Brahma's saying well hey you know the time is now to create very much the energy like the Empress you know infinite possibilities and putting the action behind it oh time to create this could be the breakthrough we've got the ace of swords in the energy of the recent past or what you're stepping into let's get the current or focus energy the Scorpio five of wands yeah there could be some yeah there could be some inner conflict about this I mean there always is when we're really needing to trust our talents, trust our path. Sometimes those voices come up and say, you're not good enough, you don't deserve this. Oh, I saw her flip, so I'm taking it. There she goes, the Empress. Don't worry about the Five of Wands because you got the Empress on your side. At the bottom of the deck, I've got the Three of Cups. Another three, you know, this is the, the master number of Ascended Masters are surrounding you and encouraging you to bring forth your gifts to the world to create let's clarify and you will be celebrating justice okay there's a victory to be claimed here first i can see energy of libra empress is all also taurus and libra so we've got a double hit of that let's clarify the five of wands out page of cups yeah clarifying it now the empress cards are a little quiet that's okay
strength. <laughs> Of course, of course, it takes strength and courage to step into purpose for absolute sure. Okay, let's jump in here. So Scorpio, in the energy of the recent past or what's transitioning in your life, we've got the Ace of Swords and Justice. Justice being the major arcana of Libra. So you know what, Justice comes into a reading spread situation when a modification needs to happen, a change in the situation in order to bring those karmic scales into balance. So what I'm really feeling here with this particular reading is that maybe you have been um, a little bit maybe off path or not necessarily off path but not answering that deepest calling and the universe is coming in to say it's time for you to, to step up to the plate, it's time for you to access your gifts to create that, that, that idea, that business Whatever it is that you've been wanting to bring forth, just to say it's time for you to do that because you know this is going to rebalance the karmic scales. This is your purpose. Maybe you were starting to get a little bit you know off course before. It is time. So maybe that is the, the, the victory that you're claiming here. It says that there is going to be a breakthrough. This is the time for the new beginning. And the thing about the Ace of Swords is really the energy of um, the intellect and, and ideas and inspiration and breakthrough and that kind of thing so I really feel that you might get um, a breakthrough idea this week that has got something to do with um, manifesting creating um, you know using that energy of Brahma to actually start bringing this into fruition whatever this is this deepest calling answering that and it's going to have you kind of step into your power it is a victory for you I think it's something you've been wanting to do for quite a long time for quite a long time here Scorpio you know, I, I'm seeing the justice as being that in this particular reading. It can be kind of legal situations, like some of you might be, you know, leaving a day job in order to step into this. So there could be, you know, reviewing the work contract. You might be seeking legal advice if you're setting up a company or business or something like that. Um, you could apply this to relationships as well. Maybe some of you are, are leaving a long-term partnership in order to answer a deeper calling. And of course that can involve, you know, uh, lawyers and seeking legal advice as well. But I'm more sensing the karmic justice here of stepping into purpose. And that does the old karmic balancing for you. So in your current or focus energy, we've got the five of wands and the page of cups. Yep. Okay. The five of wands for me can be the energy of the inner conflict, you know, the, the feeling like we can't do this, you know, it's stacked against us, that kind of energy. Um, it can also mean that you might be dealing with somebody else that is being petty or using their energy in un unconstructive ways around you. And I really think it's a, it's a lesson to remove distractions from your life this week that it might hold you back from, from this uh, surge in creation that I see here. So we all know what it's like, it's very hard to get an idea off the ground or, you know, put our creative energies into something if we've got this kind of energy around us, you know, it's the pettiness, it can be the gossip, it can be, you know, just the, the niggling and nagging energy. It's a number five, and the thing about fives is that it's the number of conflict in the tarot, but it's also the number of change. So you're really at a point of change here this week where you can really start to take a fundamental step towards your creative idea, Page of Cups. Page of Cups is, you know, a very creative energy. It's um, a little bit quirky. It's a little bit eccentric. It's a little bit uh, unexpected. And what I really notice about this particular Page of Cups is she touches the heart. It's saying it's time for you to follow your heart. Let go of the conflict, the mind, you know, the frustration of the past. Step into, into heart. Because there's a sense here that, you know, a peace is falling into place this week of emotional fulfillment. It's got something to do with you answering this deeper calling. You know, as a person energy, the Page of Cups can be, you know, can be a water sign as well, Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. It can be a child as well that might um, either have a peace for you in terms of getting off this ground or you might feel conflicted because you do have children in your care and that could be a challenge for you as well um, in order to get something off the ground. So that's the Page of Cups. Uh, the Page of Cups is also in a synchronistic energy that says expect the unexpected. And along with the Ace of Swords, I think you can expect an unexpected breakthrough, an idea, or an inspiration. 
to come through that's going to be really fundamental in this project this new business whatever it is for you because look at this three three so check out that angel number guys it's the energy of creation big time especially with Brahma and we've got the strength card so first of all yeah it's going to take strength and courage you know I think that a lot of you are really stepping into the unknown here maybe an unknown path so what the strength card is saying is you know believe in yourself bring those inner demons the inner beast you know the five of wands under control you know tame the beast of the mind who wants to tell us that you know we're not good enough or over validate or over analyze or measure everything you know and, and listen to the guidance of the angel the higher self here allow that to come through connect with the you know the heart that's going to be fundamental for you and and what I love about this here Scorpio is that you have the energy of the Empress and she's the biggest card of possibility in the tarot she's fertile you know with those um, manifestations that you have put out there into the universe and she wants to birth them into the physical realm she is the energy of the divine feminine so she says to you slow down and take a pause this week because the ideas that the page of cups wants to bring through for you are received in those moments of stillness in those moments that you're connected to your heart she works with the natural rhythm so if you can take a, a walk in nature or do a little meditation before you sleep that kind of thing she can help you bring through that foresight of the ace of swords she is a you know a card of abundance and blessings and she can also mean you know that the monetary resources that you need will be there this week for you to take the step uh, the three of cups you know winter is over and the spring is here if you have had a harder time leading up to this point it says you know what that is done and the seeds that you plant this week with this new idea this new creation have the ability to to grow to expand to be reaped in the next season so yeah sure it's not going to all play out this week <laughs> but this week you are taking a fundamental step of getting something off the ground that's going to serve you well and I think you will be celebrating your successes here Scorpio in the near future so it's a beautiful blessing at the end of the reading you know the Empress is the energy that you want to see in in a reading about you know creating something birthing something she's the energy that comes before the four the Emperor which is putting all the plans in place you know all the steps all the you know the methods and you know all the numbers and and all that kind of thing so we're not quite at that stage yet we're in the manifesting we're in the creating and then all the practical stuff will come after that okay Scorpio I'm gonna leave it there and hope you enjoyed this reading do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective so it won't be everyone's message and that's okay if you're called to share please do leave me a comment I read them all and try to respond to as many as I can it helps me get to know you guys and connect with your energies and I will see you back here next week for another message